I'm out working with the trail cameras. Uh, it's always a lot of things to do. It's frost on them and it's snow to take away and also batteries to charge. Uh, and about batteries, I feel that I want to make a short follow-up about the battery test that I have made. And about this test shortly, uh, I have had three different kind of batteries in three different cameras. And uh, for speed up the whole process a little bit, I have tell the cameras to take one series of five pictures every 30 minutes, 24 hours a day. And I have also set the motion sensor to be as sensitive as possible. And after the sensor have detect any kind of motion and take pictures and videos, uh, the sensor have only been dead for one minute and then it have detect motion again and again taking a bunch of videos and photos. The cameras have been outside in around six weeks and during these six weeks it have in total been eight days with colder than minus 30 degrees Celsius and it have also been colder than minus 20 degrees Celsius during 13 days. So it have been really hard conditions for the cameras uh, both because I have speed up the process as I told you but also the extreme cold and extreme weather and if we see to the old school classic uh, alkaline batteries they have actually been the one that have last last longest they have they have handled the cold and they have handled the whole test uh, best but what surprised me is that I have also tried two different kind of rechargeable batteries. And I know from before that normal standard nickel metal hybrid chargeable batteries, they are not a big fan of cold weather and they don't use to last that long. And the test also show that they were the first one to fail because they were running out of power. But then I have also tried one lithium battery, lithium rechargeable batteries. And those batteries really surprised me a lot. They, they last as long as five days shorter than the standard alkaline no rechargeable batteries. Five days less in this hard environment with extreme cold temperature is really good for rechargeable lithium batteries. And then there is also another thing to consider that when the standard Alka line batteries were dead, they were totally dead. I have measured them and there was no power left. But when the lithium rechargeable batteries running out of power, I took them in to the warm and after a while I can measure them and see that it was a lot of power left. However, if they fail, they fail. It doesn't matter that this power left, but uh, that tells that they're going to be a break-even point when the temperatures are not so aggressive. Uh, you're going to reach, I think, you're going to reach a certain point where the lithium battery actually going to last longer uh, than the standard alkaline batteries and if I can manage to find that point and see that it's also somewhere in the middle of the winter yes that is not that extreme cold I will be super happy because the amount of batteries you're consuming and, and, and need to throw away with standard classical alkaline batteries it's it's just way too much it would be so much better to have rechargeable batteries that actually working so I'm going to do this test again uh, when it start to be a little bit warmer outside and then we will see how the result will be uh, and then I also need to highlight this UOVision Ultimate version. Uh, this is a camera that have its own built-in lithium battery. That is maybe not the biggest one. I wish it was a little bit bigger. But however, you can charge it with a solar panel. And I can feel that it's a little bit too short battery lifetime for make it worth it. But then I also need to say it again 
that it have been extreme cold and we have no sunlight so the solar panel haven't charged that much so also for this camera it's going to be one break even when the weather start to be a little bit warmer so this can be a really good solution when you get a little bit sunlight so the solar panel charge it then it might be that you can leave it out maybe from spring until next winter again um, we will see i will continue doing those tests so if you are interested in trail cameras how they can handle the cold uh, feel free to contact me or drop a comment below because uh, I'm really excited to do those kind of tests because I want to figure out by myself the best, the best way to handle all my cameras without buying crazy amount of batteries. <laughs>